large female dog. She's probably about 60 pounds, maybe 55, meaning about 20, 25 kilos. And our, it's been prepared in the other room, and now it's in here. It's on uh, isofluorine and oxygen concentration. It's on 2%, 2, 2 and a half is what I work my dogs with. And uh, let's see what else. I just did a uh, an overspray with chlorhexidine to back up what the staff did in a preparation, and now we're going to begin with the, the spay itself. So, umbilicus is right there, the pubis is right here, and your adult dogs you go in the anterior third of the uh, of the uh, abdominal area between those two sites. surgical blade. My bigger dogs I put it on a, a handle. And we'll just start right here and make a cut down. And uh, keep teasing and through the subcutaneous fat. And I'll find it. I can see this is the, the center. I'll take out just a little scallop of tissue so it clears up my my lena alba which is right there very very clean very plain for me I tint the tissue so I can go in without finding the spleen underneath there and nicking it so I've extended my incision a little forward and a little backwards and now we'll go See how, uh, how fishing it out is going to be today. Right tissue, yeah. There it is, right there. What I did is I found the broad ligament to the uterus, and I actually pulled that up. I could tell it was the right material, and I just folded it out in my fingers until it showed itself press down on the body wall, give myself a little room, hold my suspensory ligament, break it down. And do a clamp. My ovaries in this complex right here. And we'll, then I'm going to cut away, I'm going to leave a tag of tissue above my clamp that I'm depending on to hold my pedicle until I get it secured and tied off. Cutting away my broad ligament so I can just lay it back. And on this particular, the larger animals, I'll use a monofilament nylon. That's what I'm using here. I'll go around a couple of times. I'm going to cinch it down, and then I'm going to do a surgeon's knot. Double throw, square knot on top. I'm going to cut away, and then I'm going to pirouette my instrument, place it through the hole, see if there's nothing else hanging on to it. I'm right here at the bifurcation and walk the up the other horn and this one is not coming out so I'll just reach in and break down the suspensory ligament and now it lifts up out of the abdominal cavity. Force myself a, a window in the broad ligament and place my instrument ratchet it down completely tight that's where you want to have it really holding on the ovary is in that complex and just by sight go below the ovary and yet leave a tag it's very it is important now here's your broad ligament and you see the vessel coursing up there 
breaking that down so, it, so it'll lay back nicely for me. Now I'll do a different one. Do a different technique just so if I get bored. A little, a little fancier one. It's a little more practice to get used to. Let's we'll call it a Miller's knot. It's just uh, it's applied on itself. Now all I'm doing is securing the ends on the back side, and that's it. So it's two different ways that you can secure your monofilament nylon. Now we do have both horns easily see the body, place the clamp right up there and back to our nylon. We'll go around it twice. And then I'm going to do a surgeon's knot. But I'm going to incorporate both inside it. So I've got a double surge clodge and a surgeon's knot that includes both. I'll flash it, let it slide down. I'm cinching in that flash. And when I cinch, it's not going to back off or loosen up on me. Finish it off with a square knot. Transect it. Now that part is complete. I'm going to pirouette it, drop it, see that it's loose. We're in very good shape. Now I have to get some of the stainless steel to do the closure. Yeah. Uh.